dangerous group that groups that welcome really plungers thank you for tapping in i know it's been a while but i'm back so i got a new build I'm and i just want to give y'all a tour of the new build so let's check it out let's go inside uh where should i enter uh let's go in here So, this is the main hall, and as you can see down there, I've got uh, I've got a big ass T Rex. I got a Dinosuchus, and I got two Nothosaurus, one fifty one and level one forty, and I have my Flukes right there, my Thyla, my level one forty Thyla probably a couple of levels greater than that but let's continue with the tour through here we have the taming pen so with my rgs i'll drop something in here and if necessary i could shoot through these windows and capture it and i did use it for one of the creatures that i'm going to show you in a minute so this way is the courtyard so if I ever get an opportunity to use it, I'm going to just bring my tames in here. Oh, and here, this is the ladder to go top side. So I can drop whatever I need to drop in here. And for the tame that I tamed in here, it was necessary to have this port open. So, yeah, there's that. And um, right up here, we have the aviation deck. This is where I keep my flyers. Oh, something's going on over there. A Bronto. That's the first time I'm seeing a Bronto. And you guys get to get a good view of the bridge right there. Because truth be told, I generally do not like going into the water. So there's that. So I built a bunch of bridges and we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we'll go back down here and we'll go in here. And I have an obsession with closing my doors because yeah, I need to close the doors. Oh, quick story. So I breeded these two guys, well, guy and girl. And I had the Thames growing here and they grew up, two of them. Level 85, level 89, and I realized they weren't strong enough and I wasn't able to imprint on them because of the setting, so I I mistakenly unclaimed them and then set everything in here on aggressive. I did not have the Dinosuchus at the time and the T-Rex was not out. What I did have was another Thyla, I had a Moss Chops, um, I had a Raptor, I had a few creatures in here thinking that they would make these at least would make quick work of those two of their offspring, but they did not. They killed me and everything but these two and brought these two within an inch of their lives. Yeah, I was lucky to maintain these. Even though the taming process is easy, it is very, very expensive to make a bunch of generators for these things to eat. But yeah, anyway, moving on. Over here, we have my crafting area. And the further crafting area goes into here. And I got a little uh, this just in case. Well, I had that because I needed to make the gasoline before I was able to power any of these. And then in here, we have our storage area. Fridges. Yeah, all the good stuff in here. Got my uh, preserving bins in here. Out here, we have a little little pen for smaller herbivores or whatever. Smaller, smaller tames in there. We have our garden here, which is flourishing. And I got this little door here in case I need to take a drink or fill some canteens, because I think I have some canteens in here, do I? Yeah, I got some canteens in there. Check this out. That's right. 
Uh, so far, I haven't. I found one cave. And I went into the cave and I was not able to find the artifact. So my artifacts are empty. I have no idea when I'm going to tame the boss. I mean, uh, fight the boss, but I will get to that as soon as I can, as soon as I find the, the caves. I want to do it vanilla. I want to explore the island and find the caves on my own. I found three caves, actually. One was underwater. Um, one was over beyond the redwoods up that giant ramp. Those two led nowhere. And then the one right across from where I'm at, currently, which was, yeah, to the left of me a little bit and down. Well, those were not. That's right. Well, that that one was not, I, I wasn't able to, to find the artifact. I was in there for about 40 minutes. So I wasn't able to find the artifact. I got lost in there mostly, most of the time. But here, this is uh, from the mod that I have, and I'll, I'll list the mods in the description. And this is the tame that I use the pen to tame. Unfortunately, I can't get a saddle for this guy. It would probably be very cool to ride one of these, but eh, it is what it is. So I've got this also from the mod, which That's right. makes, it preserves meat. I think whether there's meat in here or not, it's going to, oh no, I guess it, I guess it needs at least one in there. Okay, it needs at least one in there to create more, and let's see if it makes two in there. I mean, I don't know. It's just going. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, yeah. Let me show you here. I made a, a little dock so I could just walk right off into the water, and it's got like a little ramp here. So getting back isn't that hard as it was before and moving right along we go to the next area here oh yeah this is my bed and here this is a build I'm rather proud of and uh, another kind of dock area oh great raining well that's fine so i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to do with this place yet but i plan to have a lot of dinosaurs so i need space for them and i'm going to put another workshop in here and possibly move my bed into here with some storage containers and such and i have a mod called western decor so i'm going to decorate in there real nice and you'll see that in the next episode so this could lead right off into the water and I'll probably make a ramp to get back up. Let's check up the upstairs real quick. So there's two ways up here and these uh, these catwalks do not connect on the inside or the outside of the building. So you can come up through here and come around and enjoy the catwalk here. Then on this side, Oh, I guess I can't go down that way. Let's see. Let go down this way. Yes, I can. Lost a little bit of health, but it's all good. So this is the alternate way to the bedroom. And then the other catwalk over here. But real quick, I'm going to run and go get the RG and show you what I was talking about with some of these bridges. because I don't like getting into the water. I mean, now that I've got the Nothosaurus, going into the water isn't that much of a big deal, but I still don't like it. So my plan is to build as many bridges as possible. And uh, you could see this from the sky real quick. So yeah. That is the property there. I've got a few more properties staggered around the island. And this is the main bridge. Well, not the main bridge. Well, I guess the main bridge leading from my property, sure. And it goes to this obelisk island. And I built the bridge in case I had to 
walk an army of dinosaurs over there for the boss build. Then I've got this bridge here leading to the mainland. Um, I was thinking about putting a bridge over here, connecting this little island and maybe doing something with this island. But that is definitely coming. And the next bridge is over here. Because once you get on the mainland, there's a bunch of other islands that you might want to get to. Oh, look. This place is riddled with these things. Level 35. This place is riddled with these things. They're everywhere. I cannot find any Ceratosauruses, which I need, or I would very much like to have, especially for their running ability. But alas, I'm hard pressed to find any. And I, I've only seen one Spino since I've been on the island, which is crazy. Here is another bridge here. And I was considering doing something here, which is why there are the two gates, just to kind of protect this area from whatever I need to protect it from. And I really don't know where my other bridge is. I kind of forgot, but I think I have an idea of where it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way. The other bridge is over here. I guess another way of connecting to the mainland. I don't know. I just built a bunch of bridges. And I'm going to continue to build bridges to connect all of these land masses. So it's just going to be a network of a bunch of bridges and maybe platforms going up on these rocks also to try and save me from, you know, from dying. Because there's a lot of nasty things out there. And now that the Dinosuchus is in the game, yeah, I really, really want to find ways to get around these things safely. Because if you've watched my videos before, you know I am a punk. I scare very easily. And with that said, I don't like to be scared, so I do everything that I possibly can to avoid that from happening. So I think this other bridge over here is probably overkill. But again, it's just more ways to get to the island, to the mainland. I mean, maybe I, I, I'm going to have to build other bridges because this bridge really doesn't make sense in its current location. Like, it, it really doesn't make any sense at all. But it is what it is. I'm going to continue the way I've been going and just keep building these things. And where is my bridge? Um... I don't know, guys. I don't know where my other bridge is. I will show that to you maybe in the next video, but you get the general idea. The bridges aren't anything special. They're just long platforms. And this map is going to be full of them by the time I'm finished. But yeah, that's about it. That's all I've got for this particular video. So I will say, thank you guys very, very much for tapping in. I appreciate you. And uh, I promise I'm going to do a lot more videos with consistency from now on. Henceforth, in perpetuity. Let's uh, upgrade my guy here. So level 65. So we'll dump three into health. Two into melee and the next level up for him is probably going to be stamina because as you can see i had to sit down quite a few times and i don't like that so thanks for coming i'm gonna go try and level up this guy as much as i possibly can 
and cause some havoc out here and maybe catch a male one for some breeding purposes and see if I can get some mutations going. I do have to adjust my settings. But yeah, with that said, thanks for tapping in. Peace.